Well guys, how are you doing? This York. Um, we're just here, if you can see it here on the bit, the River Feel. This is the River Feel, it's running through Listowel. We're on the, um, the Listowel Bypass. It's a new by bypass being built by Wills, Wills are a Mayo company. And um, with the hard hat, the vest, the whole lot on this morning, it's about half past six. It's around the 8th of September. And this crowd is, I think it's Gerard O'Brien Cranes, they're from Limerick. This is a Lieber crawler crane, and she can lift up to 600 ton straight up. Lifting sections is a bridge crossing the river field. Um, of course, what can I tell you? The bypass is going from the Tralee Road around onto Greenville, up out onto the Belly Bunyan Road. Um, we'll swing around the camera now. I have uh, another camera up on the far side over uh, videoing the crane, so hopefully, we'll be able to put in a bit of um, what do I call it? A bit of footage of the crane we might speed it up um, of the crane slewing around and all this it is a massive massive crane so we'll just turn the camera and I'll be talking to you and we'll talk about the river and um, what not and we'll go with that here she is guys you can barely see it there she is an absolute monster of a yoke um, the bridge is after coming in from Italy um, I think it came in in 24 sections and they're um, each section is bolted together so there, I think there's something like then there's uh, I don't know how many lifts, there are 12 lifts I think there's 6 on either side, they put in one there yesterday and they put in another one there now today and you see the scaffolding around it um, the crane, what can I tell you about the crane she lifts 600 tons straight up um, she has a very, very good trick in it. You can see there, maybe on the back of it, there's a big heap of ballast weight. I think the ballast weight in the back of it is something like about 300 ton. Um, just 300 ton to keep her from tilting forward. So, you see the other crane there, then the red crane in the background underneath it. She's cork crane hire. She's just strictly for putting on and off the shackles. Um, to put the crane together, they brought down another crane. It's um, what they would call a 200 ton crane. And they brought that down to help put the big crane together. Of course, Lieber, a German company, um, built over and built in Germany, I presume this crane was. Lieber have a big presence in Killarney, in County Kerry. Um, they have a ship to shore container crane. You hear the track squeaking in a digger there alongside me. Um, they have a ship to shore container crane factory. It was put up in some time in the 60s. It was originally put up for building uh, tower cranes and they were exported out of Dublin. Uh, but of late, of the late as the last 30 years, they're building ship to shore container cranes and they're being exported out of Phoenix Pier. And I think just for a small bit of mathematics, um, Lieber Ireland or Lieber Killarney, it's to us, it's a massive factory, a massive employer. But I think it's something like it's only about 3% of um, Lieber's global market. Of course, Lieber make, make fridges, they make obviously cranes, track cranes, crawler cranes, they make wheel cranes. Like I wouldn't be surprised at that crane over there, the small, as we would call it, the 50 ton crane, that one. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a Lieber, it probably is a Lieber. And there's uh, another one over there as well, you can see the big sections of it there. You can see you can see there in the background, way over in the background, the yellow, that's the ballast. The, the crane actually picks that up. It picks, it picks that up and it um, it will take the weight of the the piece is lifting and before it will drop it back down it will um before it drop it back down it will uh, leave the weight off the back of it kind of like a counterweight so like i said the the the, the bridge itself came in from italy um we shipped in from italy into fines port and like I said, I think it came in, they said in 24 sections and um, she was um, assembled, put together here. So it's crossing, as we would call, the river feel. 
the river field comes out of Abbey Field down into Listole and um, back on towards I suppose Lixna and um, on down out there way out in onto the Atlantic Ocean behind your belly bone and it joins up with the river brick and the river brick becomes the Cashin and if you look along kind of the banks of the river there you'll see the banks of the river are kind of raised a bit there like and the same on this side we're up looking turn around here you better see it we're up on a bank um, this place used to be all a flood plain at one time and when the river rise it would all flood and they they, they drained it all it, it, it was, it's known as the brick it was sometime in the 60s it was known as the brick and cash and drainage as far as I know it was the same company that um, what do I call it the drain the Thames in England and drained the is it the the Finns down the south of England and when they were finished there they came here and they done a lot of drainage around here and what they actually did it with the, I seen photographs of it once it was the OPW that had photographs of it and what they actually did they, they had 50 ton drag lines um, they had two of them in Ireland at the time and like going back in the 60s that, that was an absolute monster of, um, of a crane or a, or a digger, a 50 ton drag line They're just cleaning up over some parts of it there for where they're going to be going on. Like I said, the bridge came in from Italy, an Italian company to put it together. I presume it's an Italian company that's putting it in place, I'm not exactly too sure. Hey yeah, guys, we're moving her in so. Like I said, there's, I think there's three, I think there's three sections on either side. I think there's six sections all together. Um, just to tell you a bit about the river, the river feel. Um, we're crossing it here. I'd say the last bridge to cross the river feel was actually um, the railway bridge. It's about two miles back down there, way off behind there. Um, but the river feel, it was an interesting story for anyone who doesn't know it, or anyone who wants to know it. Bono. We all know who Bono is, U2's frontman, um, the famous Irish rock band. Um, Bono's, whether his gr great uncle or his grand uncle or whatever, something like that, he was actually the agent, um, he was the fish agent in the River Feel. He was actually the man that if you caught fish here, you could sell the fish to him. He set up a kind of co a cooperative and you could sell the fish to him and he would export the fish. The fish was caught here, we said today. It either went into Listole, which is over that way, or back into Lixna or whatever. He was the agent for a certain amount of the river. And um, it went on the train to Dublin. And once on the train to Dublin, it was in England um, the following day. So I went on, I don't know, for I don't know when he died or when he didn't die. He died in the kind of the 1940s, but. He was probably there right up from the 1880s all the way up along. He was the he set up a company. He was the agent for exporting the salmon out of North Kerry into England. He's actually buried behind the licks now. I've never seen Bono or came across him. Now, kind of, do I really want to? But um, there's a graveyard in Licks now. It's called Dyshirt Cemetery, and uh, apparently he's buried in uh, Dyshirt Cemetery. All right, guys, we're down. That's it. That's section two of six. So, um, like that. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a Lieber tracked crane. All right, guys, how are you doing? We came across to the other side. It's in the evening. Um, you can see him. They're just shackling up here to do the next lift, um, which is the one we say to the right. We could see it there a while ago. Um, you see her there. She's see the red crane below. The red crane. She's a, as far as I know, she's a 50 ton crane. And her job is just for the shackles, to lift on and off the shackles off of the boom. Um, you'll see all the pieces there. What we do look, if we can, um, we'll give a quick walk down and we'll give a walk around it and um, we'll get a look at it up close. 
these are all the bridge sections like I said they came in from Italy into Fines port and they were brought down by lorry I think there was did they say 24 25 lorry loads um, so they came into Fines like I said and they were all brought down here one by one each section and um, down through the stall so if you're driving over this bridge in a couple of years time these are the sections of the bridge and you can see the scaffolding here where this is up here this is going to be a footpath and on top of that they're going to pour a bit of concrete and on top of that there's going to be your tarm academy now they're telling me that when the bridge sits on the piers outside it's going to be on bearings and apparently when you drive up on the bridge with maybe not so much a car but definitely a truck um, and if you're standing on the footpath you will actually feel the bridge moving on the bearings the bearings will move forward they'll move forward and backwards and they will move um, sideways as well and the, the bearings will keep moving now I presume there's a, a lifespan in the bearing they'll have to be changed at some stage but um, we have to wait and see alright guys here's the crane itself I think she's G O'Brien I think Gerard O'Brien is his name he's from Dublin she's a Lieber um, not too sure the model but you'll see here in the back you'll see the ballast weights here in the back um, when she takes up the weight of the bridge section she also lifts the ballast weight in the back um, and when she drops the bridge section it has to drop the ballast weight as well and then the whole lot has to be this 50 ton crane behind us has to pick up the ballast weight and move it because she will not she's too heavy in the back in other words but we'll get up close with it there she is guys G O'Brien Crane Hire Limited W dot G O'Brien Cranes dot IE the sun is in our way now so we'll swing around here there's a fella when the boys there was just telling me that she can actually the crane can actually jack herself up and she can actually push out the pins inside in the middle of it and um, she just jack herself up and you put in um, a, a spine trailer under it and uh, away you go she will fold herself in the legs fold in in the middle somehow I'm not exactly too sure I presume you take off all the weights off of it um, they were saying four days it took to put it together four days oh my god almighty lads look at the, the weights here in the back each weight is 12.5 tons, so 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 weights, that's 9, 9, 18, that's 2,000 ton we'll say for argument's sake, in the middle we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, that's the best part, 300 ton just sitting there as a counterweight. And never mind these weights up here. These are another one, two, three, another eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're ten ton each, so that's seventy tons, so that's three hundred and seventy ton. And there's more weights here in the middle. It is an absolute monster of a <laughs> machine. And like I said, when he puts on the weight in front, he has to lift this. But the other crane then must disassemble that so he can track if he doesn't have something in front. Just like... It's a fantastic machine. Of course, Lieber again. I think Lieber have the third largest crane in the world. The largest, largest, largest crane is on tracks. She's on rails rather, not tracks. Yeah. Okay guys, we're here. We're on the river field. You can see it here. These are the pads here, we call them. And I'll tell you the bearings. That's where the bearings are going to go. Up here in these pads as well, look. Um, and the, the, the whole structure will move backwards and forwards. Oh, it's not going to move two feet. It's only going to move, move inches. That's all it's going to move. That's the far side over, that's where we made the other video from this morning. And um, that's going to be the the next section of the bridge from here across. If you see there, if I can zoom in, you can see where it's bolted together. Ring of bolts. Yeah, that's kind of it lads. And then we'll swing around and we look at this. 
beast again. I know we're far enough away from it. We are just about. That is a massive job. It's a massive, massive crane. Like I said, there's probably 340 or 50 ton, maybe 400 ton of weight on it. Not to mind the crane itself and the boom. The bridge, the bridge sections, these sections here they're lifting are 250 ton. So, and these are the pads that um, when she's, she lift there where she is and she'll track across to these pads and uh, she'll boom out into wherever um, she has to go. So guys, that's kind of it. We'll take a few photographs of it. Um, the other thing is we have, I'm after, well I had it for a while where, and I changed the name of it. It's a Facebook page. If you want to follow me on Facebook, it's just Machinery of Ireland. Um, and I'd be, what I kind of do with that is I put up stuff, we'll say, track the runs and I sh post my videos on it as well. So um, maybe um, give give a look at that and um, if I can turn the camera, my head, put my head into it. Give a look at that and um, yeah, see how it goes and so maybe something for you. So Facebook, Machinery of Ireland. Uh, give a like, give a subscribe and um, that's it. We'll see you all in the next one. Just to give you a size comparison, the red crane on the right is a 50 ton. She lift a lift capacity of 50 ton. That's some size of a crane. That's. Hey, one more thing I mean to say to you is the the train that you take the fish with Bono's great grand uncle out to uh, the UK and uh, runs over through Listowel. It's on the John B. Keane Road now, and where that train used to be, it's something that I'm going to make a video of very very shortly. It's the Lartigue Monorail. It ran from Listowel out to Ballybunion and. Um, I'm just only thinking about it there while I was waiting for these boys to drop this. Um, we're going to make a video of that. It's a museum. It's over. There's about a mile of track. It's well worth, well, well worth for you calling to see. Now, guys, that's kind of it for myself. I hope you like. Give a like. Give a subscribe. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one.